for today's tutorial we're going to take a look at how to draw 3D shapes in GeoGebra. Now currently I have open my 2D graphics view showing a basic coordinate plane on a grid. If I'm going to draw 3D shapes I'm going to need to open up my 3D graphics window. So I'm going to come up to my view menu and add a 3D graphics view. Now right now I have this really well centered but let's say I want to show more of my 3D view. Well, I can drag this blue line over. But I, I like the line centered for what we're going to do today so we can see both evenly. But I am going to drag my 2D view around a little bit so I can better see my coordinate plane. Now before we look at shapes, let's understand how the 2D view translates to the 3D view. So to do that, I'm going to draw some points here. And I'm going to start with X is 0, Y is 3. And you'll notice that it added a point on the green line in my 3D view. If I add another one at x is 3, y is 0, again I have a point, this time on the red line. That shows that our 2D view with our x and y axis is represented by the red and green lines here. The blue line represents the z axis, which is not visible in a 2D view. Now let's go ahead and remove those two points. So let's take a look at actually drawing a polygon in our 2D view. And I'm going to start with drawing a simple square. We'll make the length of each side equal to 3. And you'll notice that once I finish drawing my polygon, it actually finishes the shape in our 2D, or 3D view and fills it in as well. Now, there's two basic ways to create 3D shapes in GeoGebra. Uh, one is to draw your polygon in 2D view and then turn it into a 3D shape. The other option is to actually draw exclusively in the 3D view. We'll look at both today. Now, if you look at the menu up here while I'm in 2D view, you will notice that when I click on the 3D side, the menu changes providing some additional options that are only for that 3D view. We're going to access this menu here, the one that looks like it's got a pyramid. In fact, let's go ahead and make a pyramid. Now, since I already have a 2D square, I'm going to go ahead and choose the Extrude to Pyramid or Cone option. In this case, I select my square, and it will automatically place a center point right in the center of the square and it asks me what is your pyramid's altitude and altitude for in this case is going to be the height since I used lengths of 3 let's go with a height of 3 and as you can see in the view over here I have now a pyramid now let's say I want to turn around and draw the pyramid in my 3d view well now I can come up here to my pyramid option and this time, let's go ahead and again draw lengths of 3. And now I have my square. And I'm going to go ahead and place this somewhere in the center. Now, it allows me to place that center point. And when I hover over that dot, we see we have arrows going up and down. It's going up and down relative to the blue z-axis. So if I click and hold, I can drag the pyramid up, or I can drag the pyramid down. So I'm going to try and drag it up here. And you notice I'm going to line it up roughly with 3, but I'm visually estimating at this point, so I may be off. Now you'll notice that it doesn't quite look just right. And if I come over here, you'll see I did not hit that negative 3, negative 3 point. So I'm just going to click and drag this dot over. And you notice it gives me a chance to redefine that point. And now I have a pyramid that's square. If I use my right mouse button, it looks like I got my height a little bit off. So if I want, I can click this point, And there we go. We see that my Z value here is actually slightly higher than 3. So I'm going to type in 3 instead and hit enter. And now I've matched the original pyramid that I created. 
So this is how we can draw uh, 3D shapes in GeoGebra. Consider using your other tools here. Can you make a cone or a cylinder? Try practicing on your own and just kind of get used to how the interface works and pretty soon you'll be making more complex shapes in GeoGebra.